For many of our young people, they have few people in their lives who they trust and people who believe in them. So Spartan is a really interesting model that takes the power of business, the power of sport, and do things in a way that can be quite unconventional, um, but is tailored towards each young person. I didn't really like school, but... Uh, no, nah, I didn't really like school, and then my behaviour is... Uh, my behaviour is bad. With Keegan, alongside many of our young people, they don't have many people in their lives that they can trust and who kind of believe in them. So Keegan struggles at school in terms of his behaviour. Really does need the one-to-one -one support because um, he needs quite a lot of attention. And I think that is a massive factor of why he's disruptive at school. You get one-to-one -one support. And if, you've, like, if you're doing maths and you're getting, like, you've done too much, you can just say, can, can, I, can we go kick a ball for 10 minutes? He can't do that at school. Monday afternoon I do maths and English, a wee bit of English, and then on Tuesday afternoon I do a lot of, I always do a lot of cooking with a Stuart, and Carrie helps me like with PE stuff. He really does open up to us, which is great. They don't treat you like a pupil, and they make you feel like your family. Daniel's journey with us has been like mountains up and down. <laughs> He, when I first met him, he was a 14-year-old boy, and he's now grown into a really mature young lad. Mm. I just did get in trouble a lot. Like, I could never sit in a class, like, a full length of time, or just cause trouble. I just get kicked out because I didn't know what I was doing. At first, Daniel was very shy and a bit nervous. However, each week, it's just been incredible to see his confidence grow. Like, I never had any confidence when I started coming here. Like, I wouldn't lead a class, I wouldn't speak to anybody I didn't know. Daniel's the young person I've worked with most over the year because Daniel's been helping me out deliver PE both on a Tuesday and a Thursday at St David's Primary and Purney Hall Primary. Having Daniel helping myself out with the PE delivery has been a massive help. In particular, there is some of the more high tariff young people who Daniel can really, really relate to. And I've had times in my class where one of these high tariff kids have maybe kicked off, not been able to listen to anything from storming around the classroom, from punching walls. Daniel has really managed to calm them down. I remember a quote himself, he's like, Carrie, it's because that's what I was like when I was younger. I can really relate to them. I can understand why they're feeling like that. And I, I can remember what I wish someone would say to me. It's interesting what Spartans are doing in terms of trying to develop what could be termed a growth mindset approach um, within education. Um, so trying to encourage young people who, for a number of reasons, may have a, a lack of ambition. Like, so we got taught a fixed mindset is like, if you're not open to the new things, you just think, well, it's as good as I'm going to get. Or a growth mindset is like, you're open for trying new things and you just got to go for it. Well, what I want to do in my future is like, because I've gone to college, I want to do something along the lines of coaching or like, PE classes or anything like that. It's changed my life completely because like thinking of me back then and now is totally different. So the school's like, it can help a lot of people. Like everyone just thinks it is like a football club, but it's totally different. So having Stuart in on a Monday's been great. There's a lot of poverty in the neighbourhood and with that, unfortunately, sometimes comes child protection concerns as well. The impact then is on the class teachers in terms of not knowing what a child's already been through when they arrive in the classroom that morning. I mean, I've spoken to head teachers for a number of years now, and what they've all identified is that there seems to be a gap in the curriculum in terms of providing a sense of resilience, ambition, and opportunities to achieve for young people. And this is where Spartans come in, and it's a really interesting model that they have here, particularly because they use a youth worker and sport approach. And what you find with these youth workers is that they come from the local community. So what they have is a credibility that often teachers lack. Um, he's seen as a go-between, he's not quite school staff, um, but Spartans are quite cool in the community, so it's okay to say things to him. So if kids have had a bit of a shaky weekend, it gives them a calm start to the week um, with somebody in the building all day that knows things haven't been necessarily great. 
So what head teachers have identified is that the youth workers can make things like reading cool in a way that teachers can't. So in a way that young people expect teachers to say that reading is a good thing, but they, in some ways they don't expect it to come from um, youth workers. Nobody wants to miss a kid, and inevitably you do. Um, and having Spartan support means that the chances of that happening are less. And you know, if it's hard work to get yourself up and out the house every morning, and then it's hard when you go to school, and you get a hard time as soon as you go through the door, you stop bothering. The young people are able to come here, completely be themselves, they can have some banter with the staff. They don't have to worry about what they can't, can't say. Um, but at the same time, they're able to get qualifications which can lead them onto a positive destination. If, you know, if I had a youth worker in school every day at some point, then the support we could provide the children sort of emotionally as well as academically and socially because that would come next. Yeah. You can't really put a value on it. I know there's a cost, but you can't really put a value. Lots of people better qualified than me will have their own definitions of education. I guess in simple terms, it's about how do we reveal what's on the inside? How do we make them visible, visible to them and others to give them a chance to go on and succeed in life? For us, that's education.